Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at some more hidden features of the new iOS 17. iOS 17 is actually packed with new features and changes and it's not that hard finding a lot of new features which of course most of them will be hidden and we don't know about but you can watch my videos and you will find plenty of new hidden features on iOS 17 like this one right here. If you go to your settings, go into accessibility and then go to motion, you can see here we have a switch to turn off autoplay animated images. But if you have that turned off, no images, no animated images will be played on Safari on any website. But what you can do to disable that on any website where you want to play the animated images, all you have to do is just tap the AA button and then right here, just tap on play all animated images. That will disable that feature for this certain tab. Now what you can do if you want to stop that, you can tap right there and now you can pause all animations. Now of course every iPhone user will recognize like the swoosh sound that we get when we send an email. Well with iOS 17, you can now actually change that. So just simply head on to your settings and go to sounds and haptics and right here you will find new mail and send mail. So right here you can choose the sound that your email app will make when you send a new mail. The spotlight search on iOS 17 also has gotten a lot of improvements and a lot of new features. Like this one right here. If I just search for Apple Music or simply music, it will show me the top hits right there. So we have the app as the first one, but then we have a right there playlists and also songs or albums. What I can do from there is just tap one of them and it will start playing right away. So I don't need to open the app and try to search for any music. I can just do it from here. You can even search the name of a playlist. So if you just search the name of any of the playlists that you have on your music app, it will show right there and you can see it says playlist. I can tap that button right there and it will start playing songs from that playlist. Now with the Photos app on iOS 17, when you're trying to create memories, which your iPhone will create automatically simply by tapping here and tapping on play memory video, what you can do now is tap here, you can see this button, you tap there and you will be allowed to actually add any other photo you want to that memory. Just tap here and you can pick any other photo that you have on your camera roll and add it to that same memory. You probably know that on iOS, when you take a live picture, you can actually disable a live picture effect from the camera roll. So when you go to one of your live pictures, you can do that from here. Now with iOS 17, you will be able to actually do that for portrait pictures as well. So here I have a portrait picture. You can see right there on the left side corner, I can just tap and switch the portrait off and this will remove the portrait effect from that picture and just turn it into a normal picture that you would take with the photo section on the camera app. Moving on into the settings and let's find here the camera settings. This is a really important setting that Apple has added to iOS 17 for the camera app that will make your videos look much, much better. So head on to record video right there and what you should do here is enable lock white balance. Now what this does is that once you have set the white balance, it will lock it. So of course it doesn't look like in a place it looks warm, in a place it looks cold. So that will mess up the video. So what you want to do is lock the white balance while recording the video. That way you will have the same white balance everywhere you record and it looks much, much better. On iOS 17, Apple has introduced the new stickers, which is a feature that most people will think that works only on the iMessage app, but it actually works pretty much everywhere on iOS. Like here we have a PDF on the files app and what I can do here is just have the markup button, tab the plus button, and now I can pick any of my stickers and I can add them right here into this PDF file as easy as that. So just drag the sticker. You can of course resize it or rotate it and you can just go ahead and just like that, add it to a PDF file. You will have the three dots right there, which of course you can tap if you want to duplicate this copy cut or of course delete it from your PDF. But you can see as easy as that, you can actually add a sticker to your PDF files on the files app. 
Now you will be able to do the same with your notes. You can actually add any sticker you want to your notes app. Simply go to your stickers here. You can just go ahead and drag simply any sticker you want. Of course, it will show up like this. It will be quite big, but of course you can tap and hold it and tap here on view as large. You can change it to small if you want to be smaller on the notes app. And of course, this way probably it will look much, much better. Now here is one of my favorite things that you can do on iOS 17. Now when you want to switch your wallpaper, you will most likely head on to your lock screen, force touch on the screen, and of course from there scroll through your wallpapers. And if you have a ton of them, you will actually need to have quite some time to actually just browse through them and switch between your wallpapers. But I can have my favorite wallpaper back here on the home screen in a touch. So just like that, I can switch to this wallpaper or I can switch to the other one and you can see I have icons there, wallpaper one, wallpaper two, and even the icons are the wallpaper. So that's really, really cool. Well, you can actually do this with iOS 17 and this is how you do it. Head on to your shortcuts app and we have a new action now on iOS 17 to switch wallpapers. So tap on add action and search for switch wallpaper. So there we have switched between wallpapers. We tap here where it says wallpaper and it will show all the different wallpapers that you have set up on your device. What you need to do now is just pick any wallpaper you want. Let's go with this one. Tap on the dumb button and then tap done right here and we have created that shortcut which of course will work and we can switch to that wallpaper as easy as that. But what you can do here is tap and hold, tap on share and add it to the home screen and you can rename it, let's say maybe to wallpaper three or three in this case or whatever you wanna do. But what you can also do is head on to your camera roll, tap here, head on to your camera roll by choosing photo here and pick that same wallpaper and set it as the icon for this shortcut. So that we have it, we just chose the same wallpaper for the icon as well and now tap on add and there we go. There we have that wallpaper, I can switch to this one or just simply switch to that one as easy as that. Now another thing you will be able to do with this new feature of the shortcuts app is that you can set your iPhone to switch to any wallpaper you want at any time of the day. So go to automations here, tap on new automation, you can choose here time of the day, of course you can pick any time you want here tap on run immediately and then tap next and of course search here for switch between wallpapers and just like that pick the wallpaper you want to switch to on that time and of course tap the dumb button now you're good to go at that certain time you will have that exact wallpaper they can do this not with just time you can do that with location for example so if you want to have maybe a different wallpaper when you arrive at your school or at your work. You can just go here and of course pick that location and then do the same action and you will have that wallpaper at any place you want. Another pretty cool thing you can do with shortcuts on iOS 17 is that now you can scan documents quickly using the files app. So search for scan documents from the spotlight search and you will get this shortcut right here. You tap on it, and you can quickly scan documents, you can turn on the flashlight, you will have different filters that you can apply as well, which are pretty cool. Now another thing you can do when you search on the spotlight search, you just tap right there on the three dots actually and it will take you to the shortcuts app and will automatically create this shortcut for you which then of course you can move on to the home screen. So if you want to just like scan a document, you will have a button actually on your home screen, which will allow you to do that. And that of course is straight from the files app on iOS. And then of course, even save those into the files app, all the scans, you will have them there. And from there, you can even remove them and move them back to the photos app. So if I just tap now, if I just tap here, I can go ahead and share this, add this to the home screen and I can have a document scanner right on the home screen from where I can quickly scan any document I want. And for the last two, let's move to the settings app. Head on to your focus modes and go to one of your, of your focus modes of your choice, of course. And here you will have a new option that allows you to silence notifications only when your device is locked and not when you're using your device. So head on to options right here. You can see right here it says silence notifications, tap on always, and now you can choose while locked, which means that notifications when in this focus mode will only be silenced when your device is locked. And this is the last one for this video, but something that I think every iOS user must do on iOS 17. 
This will make your device feel much, much faster. Head on to your settings, accessibility, and then go to touch right here and you will find haptic touch. And with iOS 17, we have a new option here for fast. It used to be default and slow. Make sure to choose fast and haptic touch will be much, much faster. That way making your iOS 17 device also feel much faster. So that is it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.